Welcome back friends, Wickedy here, and we are going back to the chickadee farm. It is the 18th day of spring. We had some pretty lucky drops in the last episode with those coffee beans, but the important thing for us to focus on right now is getting our gold ore because hopefully we can get to level six of farming here soon after a couple more strawberry harvests, and then we'll be able to make the quality sprinklers and skip the regular ones. Looks like I can also make a sturdy ring now. It takes a lot of resources though. Maybe. I'll think about that one. Alright. Looks like we need that aquamarine for a bundle. Okay, let's start the day. And for the weather tomorrow, a beautiful sunny day. Those grass type Pokemon trainers need to stop practicing sunny day during the springtime. Please, I would like some rain. Settle down, Bulbasaur. All right, how about our fortune for today? Ooh, bats. That's fine, we got too much stuff to do to focus on the bad luck. How about living off the land? Rushing rain, ha ha. Thanks for telling me about everything I'm missing out right now. Rude. I think I've had two rainy days so far. Quite a few things to harvest, so let me grab my watering can and mm, while I'm at it, let me do just a little bit of reorganizing. Making a new box for tools and tool crafting items. I like to keep my bundle items and my giftables in one container and seeds and veggies and things like that in its own little separate area now and then we'll reorganize as we get more chests and it's time to get to work and let's see we're at level three of farming so let me see where we're at after all of this if we level up in farming then that means that we can push ourselves pretty far in the mines and energy wise today level up in farming that's great that means that even if i pass out or stay up way too late i won't be uh dealing with any energy penalties i'll have full energy in the morning and i do believe today is somebody's birthday i think it's pam's birthday so i have a parsnip just for her she absolutely loves those anything to get people closer to sending me goodies in the mail is good with me so as for my goals for today, other than dropping off a gift for Pam, I'm going to pick up a few more seeds for this little patch here so we can keep rotating our crops out and working on getting some experience and fertilizing them so maybe I can get enough golden parsnips in order to add that to the community center. What else? I think for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be hitting the mines because I don't have an axe just yet. It is in the works. It's going to be finished by Clint, I think, tomorrow. And when that happens, I'll gather some more wood so that we can build our coop. Oh, and it is the last day of salmon berry season, but I have a ton of salmon berries and there's other things I'd rather be doing today. So I'll pick them up as I see them, but apart from that, I'm not going to go out of my way. Let's just double check. Yep, it is Pam's birthday probably still in our trailer and I have some frozen tears so if I happen to have one for Maru might as well work on a little bit of a relationship boost. Hey Pam. Sounds like she had a birthday pregame last night. A caramel porter sounds delicious though. I have this for you. Might help with that hangover. All right, and three hearts. Is it sad that Pam's my current bestie? Yeah, I need to work on my relationships. And thank goodness it's Thursday. I need to pop in the shop and grab some seeds. Uh, how many do I need? Mm, let's give something to Abigail too. 
Abigail doesn't like most vegetables, so the flowers work best for her. As I don't have any gems on me. How much money? Ooh. Okay. That's not too bad. Pick up some potato seeds because those are pretty good for look, experience. And parsnip seeds because I want to get some gold parsnips. Yes. Anything else? Hmm. Just a few more parsnips. Because we'll rotate that out. And I have I have a little extra gold. Yep. A little too late in the season to plant cauliflower, but perfect for these other crops. All right, let's hop back to the farm and drop all these seeds off and get them fertilized. Oh, Haley, can I give you another gift? Organizing my clothes. Oh, I did some organizing too. Same Z's. Ah, nope. No more flowers for you then. We'll catch you next week. Okay, let's finish up planting all these things and adding some fertilizer to the parsnips and then head down into the mines and hopefully get some gold ore, get stocked up for working on getting those sprinklers. And it's not too late in the day, plus we have the mine parts, so we'll be able to make it to the mines in a relatively good amount of time. And being that I don't really have anything to recycle right now, I think I'm just gonna put that away for the moment so I can put the furnace here and streamline all my smelting. Now, as for combat, we did just get that crystal dagger. And I still have uh, the iron edge, but I'm not very good with the daggers. I like keeping the monsters like further away from me because otherwise I get hit too much. So yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be using it. Might sell it at some point, but we'll bring it with us just in case. All right, our energy is mostly full, good enough. Level 60. It's still going to be a little bit of a ways until we run into gold ore. But maybe we'll run into some ghosts on these levels. And they have a chance of dropping gold, so that would be nice. Either way, these levels are good for dust sprites also, because coal is going to be very helpful in the near future. And this level is holding a ghost for us. Let's see if we get some gold ore. Yay! Perfect. We'll pop back up once we hit level 65 and get an elevator so we can make a gold bar. Gotta get to prepping for sprinkler season. I sure do love those floors with lots of crates because I found some pretty good stuff. And there is a small chance that these crystals breaking them will give you a refined quartz bar. So be sure to go ahead and utilize that. Let's go ahead and smelt this gold. Now we're working. That'll be great for our first sprinkler. And it's only eight o'clock, so I still have plenty of time. Probably get down on at least another five more levels, if luck be willing. And like I said earlier, we can really push ourselves today because we did get a level up, so we're gonna have full energy tomorrow. And that's why I feel, especially in the early game, it's really important to kind of pay attention to where your level ups are at throughout the day so you can know how far you can push yourself that day. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Got a diamond over there. Just gotta get rid of these guys so I can mine it in peace. Yay, diamond. Always happy to get one of these. I'm having a hard time getting ladders. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it down to level 70 already getting pretty late. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. I should probably head back. At least get a little bit of smelting done beforehand. 
happy to have that gold bar made. I think I might end up selling that crystal dagger at some point and make a couple of quartz before we head back home. Probably gonna sell quite a few of the gems that I have and just dash on home. Oh, well, <laughs> wrong spot. Bus stop is the way home, not town. And I'll drop a few of these things off in the shipping box as we're passing it by before we tuck ourselves into bed. I'm gonna work on gathering all of my refined things into this box for working on saving up for the sprinkler and making some tools and things. Say goodnight to dog meat and off to bed for us. Let's check our stats. Level up in farming. Ooh, and we can make the preserve stars too. That's great. If I ever get around to getting more wood, that is. <laughs> 1100 in mining stuff. Awesome. Aquamarine isn't needed for a whole lot of things. I don't really like the marble braziers that they, they make, so I usually just sell those. All right, day 19 of spring, and I do believe it is Friday, which means that we have the traveling merchant today. Our copper axe is ready, and I'll bring this frozen tear to Maru if I can find her. But the traveling merchant is more important to me. All right, what's the weather like for tomorrow? It is going to be clear and sunny all day. I just got to say, there must be a drought or something. It has been the driest spring that I personally have ever had. How about our fortune today? Ooh, red skull, look. This is mildly depressing. It's okay, we'll survive. This won't die, hopefully. Oh, we have Demetrius here. That's right, we must have made enough money for him to come by. Awesome, he has some good news for me. He made a breakthrough in his research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get straight to the point. You know that empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for the both of us. I'd like to set up the caves to attract some local species. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. So with this decision, I always go for the mushrooms. Really, the only positive thing to go with the bats is if, well, at least in my opinion, if it's if you're trying to get to the community center sooner for the um, either the artisan bundle or the exotic forge one. I don't really remember. But remember, from the traveling merchant, we already have a pomegranate, and I only need one more pomegranate and some apples. So in my uh, professional opinion, mushrooms is definitely the way to go, especially with it producing purple mushrooms. It's basically like having a life elixir farm on your farm. So it's really no question for me at all. I will always choose the mushrooms. All right, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. No, Demetrius, thank you. Can't wait to start reaping the rewards. All right, let's check the mail. What do we have? Oh yes, we are friends with Pam's. She sent us a recipe for cheese cauliflower for when we eventually have our kitchen. And nice, we are in the magazine. I'd love a copy of that if I could. Oh, Jody has a request for us for a fresh cauliflower, which I should have one saved somewhere. Since I'll be picking up our ax today, I'll bring it with me, see if we can run into her on our way. And if we happen to see Maru on our way also, I'll give her that frozen tear for a little extra scratch. We have until the end of today to do that, but until then, let's get all these plants watered. 
Fill in my goals for today. Nothing too crazy. Drop a cauliflower off for Jody if we see her. Um, let's see. Pick up our axe and check out the traveling merchant. See if there's anything that'll help us get ahead with the community center. And hit the mines for a little bit and just see if we can get down a few more levels. So we haven't had a rainy day in a while. I would love to upgrade my watering can, but it's already pretty late in the spring season. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting um, another rainy day before I hit level six in farming anyways. I could always upgrade my pickaxe, but we're gonna be hitting the mines today. I might save that for a little bit later. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be upgrading any tools today, but let's see what the traveling merchant has for us. Hmm, sandfish, and it's only 500 gold. I think I'll pick that up. What else? Ooh, a truffle. I would love that, but that's just a little bit too pricey. And I don't even have an oil maker. Hmm, I think other than that, I'm pretty good. Thanks. I'll see you in a couple days. Bye. All right, off to town. Let's go see if we can find Jody. She's either wandering around town right now or doing chores inside the house. It's 11, so we should be able to have access to the house. Ah, there she is, washing dishes. Here, Jody, I have this for you. Ooh, yellow curry, that sounds delicious. Can I have some? Ah, let's see if I can get to the trashes before Sam catches me. Nothing and nothing. Well. Oh, almost got caught by Haley. <laughs> For Maru, I think she is still hanging around uh, her house or in the carpenter shack or whatever. So we'll go ahead and pick up the axe now. Nope, nothing. Hey, you Clint. How's it going? What do you got for me? Yay, the copper axe. Thank you very much. I will chop down many trees with this. Oh, and Jody gave us 350 for that cauliflower. Now, if we walk to the mines instead of take the cart, I'll just pass straight through past the community center and maybe we'll run into Maru on our way to She's either walking to work or wandering somewhere around outside the community center around this time, I think. Nope, she's not sitting on the bench. Ooh, another flower. Thank you. Hmm, maybe she's inside. Oh, she is in the laboratory today. I am not a creeper and I don't know everybody's schedule. <laughs> Or do I? Here, I have this for you. You are welcome. What did we get? 225, and she's a little bit happier with us. One heart's better than nothing, I suppose. She doesn't really give us anything, so I don't really work too hard on the Bachelor and Bachelorette's friendship with me. Because I like the gifts. Not gonna lie. All right, and it's nearly one o'clock. Let's see how far we get down in the mines today. Of course, working on friendship with Linus has always been one of the higher priorities for me because when I get a kitchen, I like being able to make that sashimi. Ooh, some bubbles. Nope, I'm not gonna go fishing today. I don't even think I have my pole with me anyways. Got some quartz. Let's toss in. Ooh, what are we gonna toss in? I can make a couple of quartz bars. 
or copper bars and some quartz. So we'll do that. All right, and back at level 65. Ah, uh, it's fine. And we have uh, red slow luck today, so it's really got to keep on our toes. It means that we're going to be having a lot more enemies than normal. And ooh, a lot less ladders as well. love when they all cluster together. It saves me a lot of time from tracking them down. Oh, a gold bar. Yes, please. So one more sprinkler we can make. Uh, eventually. <laughs> Alright, let's snack on this and head back to it. Alright, Ghosty, you got some gold for me? Ooh, I will take the ghost fish for sure. We need that for our fish bundle, our specialty fish bundle. Yes, we have that and the sandfish. I think I have a puffer fish somewhere. We just need a wood skip now. Unless that's a different game I'm thinking of, but I bought a puffer fish from the traveling merchant. Oh, I'll check my inventory later. I like to keep bombs with me on bad luck days so I can clear out a bit more rocks at once. And the ladder on this level is just being super elusive. Annoying. Oh my gosh, I've been on this level for five in-game hours so far and finally got that ladder. Should really bring some stones with me next time because my progress is really slow today. Ooh, great. A level with some crates. Love it. And I think I should have enough hardwood now for the construction bundle. And this will probably be the last level for today. <laughs> level 70, we have a master slingshot, which I never use. Maybe I should try. I have most of the stuff for the construction bundle. I do need to gather some more wood though, but I need it for a lot of other things. Maybe tomorrow should be my lumberjacking day. Mm, yeah, I think I want to make some preserve jars, so I should probably bring some coal home with me and work on gathering some wood tomorrow. What else? I have a couple more things that we can drop off for some bundles, but if I can't complete it, it's not a priority just yet. Looks like we'll just head home. Probably could stay out just a little bit later, but I think I want to go to bed. Start fresh again tomorrow, because I don't think I leveled up in anything. And we're going to need our energy tomorrow for sure. Drop all this stuff off, sell that aquamarine, and it's off to bed. Good night, dog meat. Sleep well. Yep, no level ups at all. And 180 from that aquamarine. Not too bad. All right, it's day 20. It's going to be a good day, I've decided. I <laughs> love my trash hat. We have our mushroom cave unlocked. Making some decent progress, I guess. All right, so what's our weather going to be like for tomorrow? Oh, great, finally. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was already pretty late in this season. So I'm probably not going to do that watering can. Oh, good humor today, Golden Pyramid. That is fantastic. Definitely off to a good start today. 
And I have quite a few things to harvest today too. Fantastic. One of our skills, we're at four. Wonder if we'll level up today. We got two more level ups to go to get to those sprinklers. And I don't wanna waste money on um, upgrading the watering can if I don't have to. Let's see if we hit level five today with these strawberries. And then I'll think about that. Because at this point, it's probably worth it more to be focusing on getting more gold bars than it is to be upgrading the watering can. All right, let's get our chores done. I'd like to gather some wood so we can get some preserved jars made so I can start putting these strawberries in there and getting some good cash going. Because right now I'm all about that jam and jelly. Yeah, we'll get there here pretty soon. Let's see. Oh, yay, we did get level five. That's fantastic. All right, that has made the decision for me. I am not going to be upgrading my watering can because with that first speed grow batch of strawberries, I, have, I should have another batch of strawberries tomorrow. And by that time, I should be able to be leveled up with a couple of these other crops that are coming up. At least I'm thinking so. It should be level six before summer. I'm definitely going to be turning the regular quality strawberries into jams and jellies for now. So with that, I think I might sell the gold and silver quality ones. I'll stew over that for a little bit, but I am going to save a few of these strawberries for gifts because it's loved by Demetrius and by Maru. And it's Saturday, so today we're going to do just a little bit of foraging. And actually, I think it's somebody's birthday today, too. Yes, it's Shane's birthday today. So until we do all that, let's go ahead and water all the crops. Alright, my goals for today. I was thinking about filling out the construction bundle because I do have enough hardwood, but I really don't have enough wood right now. You think I need 198 for that? Yeah, so that's gonna be a little bit, but it is also Shane's birthday today, so we're gonna head to the saloon later to pick up a gift for him and then give him that. I also want to head down to the ocean to pick up any uh, forageables. Hopefully we can finish our crab pot bundle. Let's check in on our mushrooms. They are coming along nicely. We'll get that eventually. And after that, we're just gonna do a bunch of cleanup around the farm because I wanna gather enough wood to at least make one preserve jar. All right, it is Saturday, so hmm, where is Shane at today? The saloon opens at noon. I don't think he's working on Saturdays. Oh, everybody's out and about in town today. Like the trash. We'll skip that one. Oh, Sebastian, he's so deep in thought. No time for me. Vincent, Jazz, hey a penny. Okay, so I guess we'll just head over to the saloon. Oh wait, it's not quite noon yet. Check the trashes for a bit. And oh, we have a task we can complete maybe. Oh, I I hate doing the copper ore one. I never get it done. Uh, maybe. Yep, Shane's birthday today. And just in time for the saloon to open up. 
Come on, Gus. You got this. Opened uh, 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Ooh, 400 gold for a beer. Yeah, which that's pretty pricey, especially out in the boonies. Anything else? Ooh, we got some fried eel. Hmm. I probably should have picked that up. Oh well. Now, if I remember correctly, Shane is actually in P. Airs on Saturdays. No, he's not. Where is he? Probably over at Marnie's place, heading towards the saloon. So let's go that way and check. Now, I do like giving gifts to Shane because he likes giving gifts back. Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, I have something for you. We have no hearts with you yet. Here. Yes, it is your birthday. Happy birthday. Have a beer on me. We are at three hearts, which is great. Can't wait until you send me a gift in the mail. Guys, I'm not being greedy. I'm being strategic, okay? <laughs> oh, looks like we got the oyster we needed. Perfect. That's the last thing I need for the crab pot bundle. Oh, hey, Elliot. Ooh, dark and full of spiders. Sounds like my kind of cabin. And we have the bridge fixed, so there's going to be lots of good things over here. Plenty of coral. Don't really need them for much right now. I could save them up for eventually being able to make the ocean warp totems, but... Oh, they're good money makers for now. Oh, and it's Saturday, so Willie is not in the shop. Otherwise, I'd go straight over and sell these to him. Hmm, but I do need the sea urchin that we just picked up for a bundle, so we'll hold on to that. All right, it's up to the community center real quick to drop this oyster off. It's the last thing that we need for the crab pot bundle. All right, Junimos, take that. Mm, yay. Give me my crab pots. Nice. And with that, I'll be able to start collecting some trash. Well, and, and fish too. But mostly what I want is the trash. I want those soggy newspapers so that we can turn that into bolts of cloth. We need a bolt of cloth for a bundle. And also, if I want to start doing the tailoring too. I could save some of this coral for some speed grow, but for now I think I'm just going to sell it. I am going to save this um, sea urchin oh, for a bundle, for the dye bundle I believe it is. Yeah. Get rid of those because I don't have a kitchen just yet. And the rest of today is just going to be some farm cleanup. And of course, I gotta set up my crab pots too. So I'll make a little bit of bait and get those started. All right, let's get to it. I have my silo, so all the grass we're cutting, the hay is going to be collected in that. And yeah, I'm going to clean up this little quarry area because it's going to leave room for some better ores to show up. As for my four corners layout, I'm feeling like I might be setting up my like sort of industrial shed area in this corner here. Or when I actually feel like grabbing all the uh, smelters and furnaces up in the mines, I'll bring them down here. Maybe in have a nice shed and all that stuff too. Or just save it for some extra crops. This corner of the farm I'm going to be using for my animals. There's a little bit more water over here too. So I think I'm going to put all, eventually put all my crab pots over here. And a couple of fish ponds and things like that. I'll probably feel it out a little bit.
All right, it is actually getting pretty late. It's after one o'clock already, and I have over 300 wood, which is fantastic. I did level up in farming today, so I don't have to go to bed right away. But I don't want to stay out too late either. But before bed, real quick, I'm going to make a couple preserve jars. Since I have the wood and the coal. Oops, forgot my stone. And craft my first two preserve jars. Oh right, I forget. You can actually stack these. That's fantastic. Such a helpful added feature. And I think I'm going to start by making some strawberry jelly. Pull a couple out here. Eventually, um, I'll have to make a cheaper one so I can donate it because strawberry jelly is worth too much. And drop off all this stuff here. Looking good. Mmm, okay. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Organize. Put those in here too. Just barely enough time to plop these jars down and pop a couple strawberries in. Yeah, right here. Oh! Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Alright, good night! And there's that level 5 farming level up. Between the two, I almost always go with Tiller for that 10% boost in crop sale. That's kind of why I've been holding on to most of my crops right now lately anyway, so now everything that we sell is going to be worth a little bit more. And we're going to have full energy tomorrow with that too. Fantastic. Well, friends, that is it for this episode of the Chickadee Farm. Made some pretty great progress. I'm pretty close to level six of farming. I can feel it. I hope I didn't make any choices that I'm going to regret later. Eh, we'll see. Going to be working on hopefully building some friendship up with um, a couple of the other villagers. And getting further down in the mines to the gold levels is where I really want to shoot for next. Be sure to let me know of any helpful tips that you may have for my farm that I might not know down in the comments down below. I really love reading them. Be sure to like and subscribe if you are not already. I put the playlist for the chickadee farm up in the top corner up over here. I'm Wiggity, thanks so much for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!